Hello, this is Jamie Nichols, and I'd like to welcome you to Oral Pathology. I'm going to show you some things on the site so that you can be successful utilizing this online course. Below we have um, documents how to succeed in this course, the course syllabus, and the course calendar. First, we're going to go to how to succeed in this course. So you'll click on this link. And this is going to take you to some information on how to be successful. Um, first of all, you need to um, look at your computer skills. And so here you're able to take a basic computer skills self-assessment. Um, you can click here to do that. Um, you can also um, get some help with basic computer training and internet basics. You also will need to make sure that your browsers are updated in order to be able to uh, take this class. You may need to update your computer web browser in order to access different images and video links in this online course. So the first thing you'll need to do is go um, to this link, Online Readiness Self-Assessment, and click on the browser check. So what you'll do here is look to see if you have all green checks, then you are good to proceed. If you have anything that gives you a red X, then you'll need to go to that back, close out of this, and go back to the appropriate um, browser here in this section. So you can either, if you get a red X for Adobe Reader, for example, you would click this link and that would take you to the website so that you can do a free download. You need to do that for all of the areas that have a red X. Also, if you need any further help, um, you can contact the SHED, the Student Help Desk. You can call them, email them, visit their website, and get further additional help with computer information. <clears throat> and then below, we have some more information on how to succeed in this course. Um, very important is to um, read and print out the syllabus and due date calendar. So um, you're able to pay special attention to your learning outcomes. That's really important for success in this class. Um, you need to set a weekly schedule for yourself um, just so that you can stay on track with the course. Make sure you're paying special attention to all due dates. Um, definitely need to log on to the Moodle site frequently um, to make sure you're getting all of the updates and just to make sure you're keeping on track with the required materials. Also, ask questions of your classmates or your instructor. So you can do this um, by posting on the student forum and this is actually required of you at least twice a week. You can ask and answer questions with other students in the student forums. Start studying for the exams one week in advance. This will give you plenty of time to review your notes and be ready to take the tests. Um, you're going to want to read the text and information in small chunks. Take notes while you're reading the text. Do not try to multitask while watching the videos. Make sure that you focus in on these as these are required. Make sure you turn in all your assignments on time, and most important of all, be sure to engage with this course. Okay, next we're going to look at um, uh, the first forum. So the question for this topic will be, what will make this course great? So to enter that forum, you'll click on the link, and this will take you here, and what you'll want to do is click on Add a New Discussion Topic. In the subject, you can enter your subject, and then you can post in the box below. And you'll just want to answer you know, something that you think would be um, beneficial to making this course great. OK, so now I want to go ahead and show you what uh, the course uh, is going to look like from week to week. So this will give you a general idea of um, how each week will look. Um, so week one, introduction to preliminary diagnosis of oral lesions. So up at the top here, we'll give you the information um, that you'll need to know. So it's reading chapter one in your text before coming to class, um, printing out the notes, and reading those also before you come to class. Um, there's your deadlines. So at least two forum posts are required. 
and then also it gives you um, another important due date about watching the supplemental video and taking the online quiz, which again um, is, is required. Then you have your course materials. You have your notes here and then the corresponding PowerPoint lecture. The notes you will want to print out and study from and the PowerPoint is something that will supplement that, giving uh, images and further information. And again, here we have a student forum. Um, so again, this is a student-led forum. You're encouraged to come here as often as needed, but required to make at least uh, two posts a week. And then we have a supplemental video lecture. So this is a video that you will need to view, um, and this again is required. So this is oral lesions, the most common mucosal disorders. And once you uh, watch the video lecture, you'll want to go to the self-test. This is a formative test, meaning that you will not be graded. It's a self-test used to test yourself to assess your knowledge of the information so far. Following this, we have our online homework in preparation for week two. So this will not be required. Um, this will be what you need to complete before you come to class on uh, the start of week two. So this is definitely not optional. Um, we have supplemental video for week two, inflammation part one, which you can access easily through the link and inflammation part two, again, easily accessed by the link. So re, uh, watch these videos, and then these are due by Sunday at 11 p.m. And then we have quiz one, which is, again, over inflammation. This will be covering questions from the videos and um, also information from the lecture. Remember that if you have any questions, please email me. I also look forward to meeting you in class.